Hi, Michael, and welcome back to Essential Experts. Thank you, David. So much is going on at Edge. We thought it would be great to get you back quite quickly and see how things are going. So uh, when we were here a little while ago, there was a lot of integration activity going on. How's that going? Yeah, it's going very well, thank you. Um, I think, you know, in terms of major milestones, in fact, uh, the other day at our global town hall, I declared integration over from an organizational point of view because um, what I wanted to do is make the point that our customers clearly are not interested in our internal affairs. And uh, as a consequence, we should be much more interested in their affairs, right? Uh, and in that regard, I think we've made really good progress. And in fact, in the last month, we secured two major global clients uh, for global digital shelf rollouts. So I was very pleased about that. Uh, and we achieved a, a major milestone in terms of our market share product, where we started to migrate customers to a whole new infrastructure, which will provide more robust, scalable data. A lot is moving clearly really quickly. What are your, your next objectives from here? Yeah, so my uh, next objectives really uh, fundamentally are twofold. One is to ensure that we uh, maintain and deliver on our product leadership, right? And then the second, of course, is to deliver absolutely operationally excellent uh, execution as concerns clients, okay? So uh, with respect to that, that first objective, we have a whole number of new products in the pipeline that we'll be rolling out over, the, over time, including uh, new dashboards for a digital shelf and market share product, which we will then bring together over the course of next year. In terms of ops excellence, of course, our customers interact with us on a day-to-day -day basis around data, insights, uh, all kinds of matters. And what we're doing is we're putting in the processes and the people in place to ensure that that is a very smooth interaction. So last time you kindly talked us through your product set as it, as it was then and it was, uh, it was evolving. How do you see that evolving from here then? Yeah, so uh, as, I, as I mentioned in terms of those dashboards, the, the major evolution really is bringing shelf and share together so that we can provide more prescriptive recommendations about changes in the digital shelf and how they'll actually deliver increases in sales, right? And as we look forward, what we uh, look towards is an interface that's capable of on the fly calculating the opportunity associated with changes to your product title, changes to uh, the number of images you're uploading and so forth, and the ways in which that will deliver sales. And hence, you can prioritize which SKUs to pay attention to, but also which actions to take. So obviously underpinning all of that is the integrity of your data. And how are you and the team tackling that? I mean, that's an ever going journey. Yeah, that's right. And uh, in fact, I'm, I'm pleased to say we're coming to the end of a migration to a whole new uh, technology stack for market share, which uh, facilitates improved item maintenance, right? And item maintenance is the process by which we identify new items that are for sale on Amazon or other websites, and uh, then include them in a client's catalog to uh, then display the data against them. And that technology enables um, uh, better, uh, faster, um, higher quality uh, refreshes of a client's catalog. So uh, that's the technology. Of course, we invest significantly in an operations team, and that ops team validates the data at source when we harvest. It then validates the data as it's gone through our transformations before it winds up in customers' hands. So where we are in the year, we're looking at uh, the holiday season kind of cranks up from here with all the big, big calendar dates. How are you preparing, uh, helping your customers really smash it out of the park during this time? Yeah, indeed, uh, uh, that's right. So in the run up to uh, Christmas, we have a number of major shopping events. And of course, in general, it's a high uh, shopping period. And, and what we're doing is we're providing all kinds of at a strategic level, all kinds of insights reports on our retail insights uh, platform along with webinars to prepare uh, our clients for the holiday season with respect to pricing and promotions we're looking at christmas baskets and the way that they evolved over time to help our customers anticipate price changes and then of course when it comes to shelf and share we'll be increasing the frequency of our harvest on those key shopping days so that we can provide the best possible insight Exciting times, and the uh, marketplace is, is obviously very dynamic as well, and you're moving rapidly to serve it. What are you seeing as the big issues that are coming through from customers and how their needs are changing? Yeah, so customers um, that I'm interacting with um, are definitely citing a real increase in competition. Uh, and that competition is coming from uh, the traditional places, so they're, they're traditional competitors, of course, but also new competitors uh, who have no trouble listing on Amazon and other e-retailers. Uh, and that competition 
increasing, is increasing their need for data, um, for visibility of the digital shelf, and uh, their need to then act effectively against it. And so what I'm seeing is an increasing urgency, uh, uh, demand for data, and concern about how they can use it most effectively to fend off that competition. And what about China, Michael? That's such a dynamic market. What can you do for customers there? Yeah, so China is a critical market for us and for our clients. It's the world's largest e-commerce market. It's uh, nearly two times uh, the size of America as an e-commerce market. And uh, we've been in China for many, many years. Uh, and in fact, we have a team of about 60 people in Shanghai who work with our clients there, whether local clients or indeed global clients who have operations in China. And we're investing significantly in our capability there, both in terms of uh, organic uh, product development that's specific to the Chinese market and the way that uh, TML and JD work, uh, but also with respect to partners. And uh, we've identified a couple of partners, and we're already serving our clients with the enhanced data capabilities that we can bring to the table as a consequence. And if I may ask, how does that then influence what you're doing uh, in, in, the, in the Western markets, what's happening in China? Yeah, well, indeed. So let me give you a really specific example. So uh, in China, ratings uh, and reviews are a really interesting uh, aspect of the digital shelf because in China, typically people rate everything five star. But in the review, they tell the truth, right? And that's partly because of review programs that pay consumers. Um, and so it's really important to do proper, deep, semantic analysis on those reviews to reveal the ways in which consumers are really reacting to your product. And that might lead you to change um, the way in which the product is presented, or indeed the product itself. Uh, and so working with a partner, we're developing deeper and deeper semantic analysis, which we will provide obviously in China, but then around the world as well. When you came last time, it felt like you were absolutely at the nexus of really exciting stuff, and it just seems like it's accelerating. It's fantastic. Indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.